the 1989 Buick Regal. It brings a new kind of style to the American road. It's a Regal new feeling, a style that's appealing, the look of a Buick today. It's the pride in a smile, a Regal new style. It's the road that Regal commands. Oh, the great American road belongs to Buick. Save up to $1,000 on Regal with $400 cash back and option packages. So you think you've seen it all in pasta. And you thought you'd seen it all. Four new homemade pasta dishes from Stouffer's. Remember the new carpet, darling. Are you going to live in fear of your new carpet? Or buy a worry-free carpet from Allied Fibers with a five-year warranty against dirt, wear, and more stains than other stain-resistant carpets. It takes out something other carpets can't. The worry. Thank you, darling. Oh, you forgot the orange juice. Worry-free carpet. It's more than just stain-resistant. It's totally worry-free. Some people are so silly. Ouch. They make this big deal about Kellogg's Frosted Flakes being just for kids. Well, look at me. I'm an adult. I eat them. Heck, I love them. Frosted Flakes just for kids? Come on. Like, we adults have to go sneaking around. Like, we can't enjoy these sweet, crunchy flakes just as much as kids. Daddy, are you eating our Frosted Flakes again? Oops. There now, you can't deny it. Frosted Flakes have the taste adults have grown to love. They're great. NBC Sunday Night at the Movies will return following these messages. Next Sunday, the hero America grew up with is back. How are we going to get out? I'm not so sure that we do. Johnny Cash, Samantha Egger, Gary Grubbs, and Tim Dunnigan as... David Crockett! Baby, 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 the, the legend lives again. I'm going to shock you, Davy Crockett. The all-new Davy Crockett next Sunday. This is a New Center 4 Digest. Good evening, I'm Jerry Graham. A fifth body was discovered buried at a Sacramento boarding house today. Police are searching for the elderly landlady suspected of killing her tenants and cashing their Social Security checks. In upstate New York, a landfill site burning out of control. Firefighters can't figure out what's burning. A tie forces a playoff at Pebble Beach, and the 49ers lose again. All the news Get coming up at 11. We got the job. The 89 Toyotas are here, and they're better than ever. Test drive the new Corolla, Camry, and all new trucks at your Northern California Toyota dealers. And get the jump on a great deal. We got the jump. We got the jump. And now, on with the opera. From the people who brought you big screen television comes the sound to go with it. Frankly, my dear, I don't get it. Introducing Mitsubishi Home Theater Systems. Now playing at a dealer near you. Ah, another typical day in California. And typically, millions of us will take a few minutes to play Scratchers from the lottery. They're fast. They're fun. And who knows, you could be an instant winner. Maybe go all the way to the big spin, where the prizes are anything but typical. Scratchers, another reason life's more fun in California. Jonestown, The Survivors, Monday on U Center 4 at 11. Back to the Future continues, starring Michael J. Fox, Christopher Lloyd, and Leah Thompson. Fix everything. No, you gotta have some tomatoes and celery and carrots, too. You know, honey, your grandmother never, ever called me stupid. No, she always called me pinhead. Oh, 
Grandpa. I knew some soup would make you feel better. Home cooking soups from Campbell. They got their name because of their taste. McDonald's presents gifts your kids will love. Holiday Huggable Muppet Babies. Love them, hug them, Muppet Babies, hug them. You can get your kids Baby Kermit or Baby Fozzie or Baby Piggy for a limited time only. They're soft and huggable at a special low price with any McDonald's food purchase. Muppet Babies at our place. Holiday gifts at a special low price. Can I Baby Piggy? Holiday Huggable Muppet Babies. Only at McDonald's for a limited time. So hurry on in. The only way to travel is Cadillac style. A by Cadillac. An uncompromising experience of automotive refinement in an ultra-luxury roadster. Let's go, let's live, let's love every mile. The only way to travel is Cadillac style. Risk everything. Except your hair. I thought styling was torture. And my hair just loves it. I style with Pantene. Pantene puts these wonderful vitamins in every mousse, chill, spritz, and spray. I can hold, shape, lift, and still love every inch of my hair. The one thing I can't do is see why you'd use anything else. Pantene, because it's not just your style. It's your hair. Come on in to Sunrin's Fresh, like hanging your wash in the sunshine. Come on in to Sunrin's Fresh, light and sunny, downy feeling. April Fresh and light Sunrin's Fresh. Come on into the sunshine. To look at them, they're the perfect couple. Let's get married. They'll be joined in a passion unlike any other. Too bad it isn't you. She's not right for you. Her subtle possessiveness will slowly make him her prisoner. I'm scared that you're going to leave me. She won't let you go. But an obsessive jealousy will drive them apart. We need a break from one another. Oh, please, Richard, don't go. No, if she no. can't have him, she made a vow no one else will. I feel sorry for you. How far will Lonnie Anderson go to save an affair that's too good to be true Monday? My dad, he's always a pretty cool guy. Man, you know it. He'd love my new Cutlass Sierra. Wow. Look how beautiful. The new styling. And that new 3300 V6. What? And when I tell him it's an Oldsmobile. Not bad. Not bad at all. This is not your father's Oldsmobile. Now that's groovy. This is the new generation of Olds. Can I help you? Yes, I'm looking for a special wine. What's the occasion? Well, I have this blind date. Let me show you something I like. Gallo Blush Chablis. It's just waiting to be discovered. Hi, I'm Jerry's friend, and you're the wine lady. You're Jerry's friend? Yeah. Come on in. So did I get the right wine? <sighs> Perfect. Gallo Blush Chablis. A most unexpected discovery. Remember how determined your parents were to give you the gift of knowledge, no matter how many gifts it took? Today, you have a big advantage with the Apple II GS. Apple II computers are found in more schools than any other computer. Your parents gave you the world. You can give your kids the universe. You know how some cereals have a long list of ingredients? Well, not Quaker Oats. It has a list of one ingredient, 100% rolled oats. Quaker Oats. It's the right thing to do. I live in Manhattan, and when you live in Manhattan, you need comfort, you need pot roast. Sometimes need to eat pot roast with a spoon. But I've got a taste for some real food. NBC Sunday Night at the Movies will return following these messages. The blockbuster movie that left the world cheering continues. 
how you uh, arranged to marry somebody. As he becomes a man, he will face his greatest challenge. It's not tournament. It's for real. This time, he's fighting for his life. The Karate Kid Part 2, Tuesday at 8.30, 7.30, Central and 9. We will not let you. You will die. You will have to take anybody over all of our dead bodies. Ten years ago, on a steamy afternoon in the remote jungles of Guyana, cult leader and former San Francisco community activist Jim Jones led over 900 men, women, and children to their deaths. Starting Monday, four people who survived retell the tragedy. Don't miss Jonestown, the survivors. Starting Monday on U Center 4 at 11. Save 20 to 50% on every Casio watch, calculator, and musical keyboard during Casio Week, now at Macy's. Jack in the Box, now they have taquitos. And what do they know about taquitos? Jack in the Box restaurants introduces taquitos, the new Mexican finger food. I know taquitos and you know taquitos. They know taquitos? We know taquitos. Shredded beef in rolled corn tortillas served with guacamole or salsa. One of four fun finger foods at Jack in the Box. For exciting new taste, this is the place. Who knew they knew? You know, the problem may not be your phone, but your long-distance phone company. Switch to Sprint. Get the best sound quality and save as much as 10, 20, even 30%. Daytime Jeopardy, weekdays at 4.30. Back to the Future continues, starring Michael J. Fox, Christopher Lloyd, and Leah Thompson. My palms used to sweat when I had to get on the highway. Now with my Camry V6, I just punch. Yeah! Punch it, Margaret! My Toyota, I love it! The 1989 Toyota Camry V6. 24 valves, 153 horsepower to please even the toughest customers. We just fell in love with life in the fast lane. My Toyota, who could ask for anything more? Toyota, 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 Toyota. Wow! What you eating, babe? Nothing, honey. Oh, you can tell me. Kellogg's Nut and Honey Crunch. Looks good, Private. What is it? Nothing, honey. Kellogg's Nut and Honey Crunch. When you've got the special taste of nuts and honey all wrapped up in a hearty crunch, what more can you say? Here's what. New Nut and Honey Crunch Biscuits. Crunchy biscuits of wholesome shredded wheat with that special nut and honey taste inside. Mmm, wow. Kellogg's Nut and Honey. Now in biscuits, too. Crunch. Come in. Even when all of Company B heads for the phone, it's no problem for Gail Godfrey. Delta Airlines, Gail Godfrey. Y'all fly to Lubbock, Texas? Yes, that is confirmed. I got some friends who want to talk to you now. Just hold on a second. Thank you. Cincinnati, Ohio. New York City. Monroe, Louisiana. Albuquerque, New Mexico. San Jose, California. Portland, Oregon. Here, Montana. You're all set. Thank you for calling, Delta. Bye-bye. Hi, Gail. Did you get many calls this afternoon? One. Delta, we love to fly, and it shows... It's part of the job and part of the fun. It's a piece of America. Share a little piece of America. Weekly, it's a piece of America. Share a little piece of America. It goes with the boys that play in the dirt. It goes with the joy. It goes with the hurt. It goes with the men you can't fix in. It's there when you lose, and there when you win. Weekly, it's a piece of America. Share a little piece of America. Weekly, it's a piece of America. Share a little piece of America. Her world is a world of passion. No man can resist her. She comes from another time and place. Her capacity for love knows no boundaries. 
She's Vanna White. And next Sunday, she's the goddess of love. Introducing the totally new Cadillac DeVille and Fleetwood. Automobiles designed to share your priorities. Longer in length, more luxurious in appointment, and V8 in power. True, the most commanding automobiles in their class. Mmm, delicious hot cereal. What is it? Great. What is it? Yummy. What is it? Grape, grape nuts? nuts? It's a great hot taste from an unexpected place. Hot grape nuts. The recipe's easy. The result? A savory blend of wholesome wheat and barley, deliciously hearty, uniquely grape nuts. For a great hot taste from an unexpected place, hot grape nut cereal. We're not a company. But we'll give you a chance to work where there's always a challenge. We'll give you opportunities to learn, to develop. To perfect skills that you thought were beyond your reach. We'll help you build a career. A career that can reward you for the rest of your life. We're not a company. We're your country. We're the Army. The Navy. The Air Force. The Marines. We're the Armed Forces. It's a great place to start. Music and songs. Spelling, art and computer drawing, word games like search and scramble, word skills, math and math games for two, Socrates, with over 90 built-in educational programs. Now instead of just watching TV, your child can learn from TV. Socrates turns your TV into a learning center with over 90 built-in programs. Socrates, learning one-to-one. Weight Watchers has a splendid new goodie, a rich chocolate brownie with real chocolate chips inside and walnuts on top. It's a perfectly delicious sweet for your goodie basket. Enjoy it. Just beware of wolves. Good news, bacon lovers. The only bacon Swiss burger with three strips of bacon is staying at Wendy's even longer. So come in now and grab another bacon Swiss burger while they're hot. Monday, his love pulled them together. Just us. Her jealousy tore them apart. We need a break from one another. Patrick Duffy finds Marnie Anderson too good to be true Monday. He's a killer on the loose who made a great escape. Now he's on the run, and you could catch him on Unsolved Mysteries. Then on night court, Bull is bowled over by a blonde bailiff. Try to be a little more careful in the future. And Dan's going psycho. On Baby Boom, JC takes a stress test. I'll exercise more. But can she pass? It's all new Wednesday. I'm Bryant Gumbel. This week on Today, we'll look at the agenda for the Bush administration. I'm Jane Pauley. Also, Jonathan Winters, George Burns, and Steve Gutenberg. That's this week on Today. Tomorrow, teenagers on steroids. A spotlight report on America's newest drug epidemic. On NBC Nightly News with Tom Brokaw. Coming up next on News Center 4 at 11, the grim harvest at the Sacramento boarding house that has police looking for a 71-year-old landlady. And the storm that hit Northern California causes a huge traffic backup on I-80. Also coming up, the Bay Area pilot who ditched his plane in the sea and lived to talk about it. And no rescue for the Niners. They couldn't do much today. And the bridegroom who wrestled a tiger to make it to the altar. The news is next. I always loved to cook, but when I lost my sight, it became very difficult for me. At PG&E, we have many special customers, some with very special needs. PG&E came up to the house and put braille markings on my oven dials. A little time, a little attention can make a very big difference. Okay, there you go. Now, I can read them with my fingers. That's PG&E. This was such a nice thing. Now more than ever, at your service. McDonald's presents Holiday Huggable Muppet Babies. What up, Kermie? Right now, get your kids Baby Kermit, Baby Fozzie, or Baby Piggy. They're soft, huggable, and only two nineteen dollars each with any McDonald's food purchase. Muppet Babies at our place. You can love them, hug them. Good night, Baby Piggy. At McDonald's. A portion of the proceeds of each Muppet Baby plush toy will be donated to Ronald McDonald Children's Charities. 
We will not let you. You will die. You will have to take anybody over all of our dead bodies. Ten years ago, on a steamy afternoon in the remote jungles of Guyana, cult leader and former San Francisco community activist Jim Jones led over 900 men, women, and children to their deaths. Starting Monday, four people who survived retell the tragedy. Don't miss Jonestown, the survivors. Starting Monday on U Center 4 at 11. This is U Center 4 at 11. With Jerry Graham, Catherine Heenan, Pat Finn's Neighborhood Weather, and Pete Liebengood on Sports. Good evening, I'm Catherine Heenan. And I'm Jerry Graham. Sacramento police are still looking for a boarding house manager. They say literally dug an early grave for some of her tenants. Police say her motive was simple, money. As News Center 4 Stephanie Frederick reports, the neighbors knew something was wrong. Very rancid, sometimes sweet, sickly, sweet odor. Definitely something dead. Will McIntyre says he knew something didn't smell right next door. But he and others who had complained had no idea their neighbor's backyard had become a cemetery. Crews pulled a fifth body from a shallow grave today. Wrapped in a sheet, police couldn't tell if the victim was male or female. But they believe it's a former tenant of this boarding home, one of the eight elderly people who lived here and was recently reported missing. The woman believed responsible for the deaths is 71-year-old Dorothea Montavo Puentes, who had a previous record of stealing from the elderly after doping them. Authorities now suspect the woman killed at least five of the tenants and continued to cash their Social Security checks. She was seen at the boarding house early yesterday, hours after the first body was found in the backyard. Police today tried to defend their actions of questioning Puentes, but not arresting her. Do you think it was a mistake for you guys not to follow her? No, ma'am. She was free to go. She was, it's, I have no more right to follow her than I have a right to follow you. You have to understand that. Nobody wants her in jail worse than I do, people, but I'm going to do the laws. It's very important that we do not ruin the consent to search. Police did arrest this man, 59-year-old John McCauley, a friend of Puentes and a resident of the home. Authorities believe McCauley helped Puentes dig the graves. He was booked this afternoon in the Sacramento County Jail on an investigation of accessory to murder. Tomorrow, the digging continues with less than one half of the yard uncovered. Police don't know what else they might find. In Sacramento, Stephanie Frederick, New Center 4. Sad to say, secret mass burials are nothing new to the Sacramento Valley. In a report that contains graphic footage, Sandridge and Yep recount similar cases of the last 20 years. In the early 70s, 25 migrant farm workers were found slashed and hacked to death buried in shallow graves in a peach orchard outside Yuba City. It was the worst mass slaying in California history. Farm labor contractor Juan Corona was sentenced to life in prison after he was tried, retried, and convicted in the killings. Just last year, the bodies of seven women, three of them prostitutes, were unearthed in various parts of Sacramento's Curtis Park area. Five of the bodies were buried behind homes where Morris Solomon, a handyman, lived or worked. Solomon had told police a year before he had found the body of a woman in a closet of a home he was renovating. The investigation then snowballed and Solomon was arrested. He has pleaded innocent to murder charges and a trial is pending. Bob Bowers is a veteran investigator of such cases for the coroner's office. Any criminal, uh, any murderer, trying to avoid prosecution, the, the easiest way to do that is to uh, not have a corpse. Uh, burying is certainly easier than dumping as, as far as removing from site uh, possible remains. Eventually, most dumped remains get found, no matter how remote the site. In Sacramento, St. Virginia Yep for News Center 4. A small crowd gathered in Washington, D.C. today to remember the 900 people killed at Jonestown 10 years ago this week. About 50 people showed up for today's ceremony at the Jefferson Memorial. The organizers called the rally to kick off National Cult Awareness Week. Former members of other fringe religious groups spoke out. Two years ago, I was freed from the power of the Jimmy Roberts group. A long decade of service came to an end. Ten years that I cannot recover. 
Hecklers from the World Council on Religious Liberty claim the organizers of today's rally are deceptive and anti-religious. Starting tomorrow night on News Center 4 at 11, Janine Yeomans and Bob Jimenez present a special four-part series, Jonestown, The Survivors. In L.A. this weekend, another round of gang arrests and violence. More than 200 officers hit the streets, rounding up more than 100 alleged gang members. As usual, it didn't mean an end to gang violence. The victims include a 16-year-old girl and a 15-year-old boy. Los Angeles police say gang killings are at a record high, 25% ahead of last year. PLO leaders have reached an historic agreement in Algiers, accepting a U.N. resolution recognizing Israel's right to exist. They now hope the Palestinian National Council will go along. NBC's Rick Davis reports. Yasser Arafat vowing the revolution would go on until a Palestinian flag is raised. Arafat urging the new George Bush administration to have a more realistic Middle East policy. The uprising in the West Bank and Gaza Strip has forced the old leadership of the PLO to rethink their years of struggle. Here in Algiers, the Palestinian National Council will declare an independent Palestinian state and, in careful language, say that state can exist with Israel next door. That would be an historical step for the PLO until now committed to the destruction of Israel. But the people who live in the occupied territories and are now fighting Israeli occupation are mostly realists who want a compromised state. Yasser Arafat hopes this PNC will take a step which will please the U.S. administration and to some degree lessen its support for Israel. Arafat is doing a careful balancing act, trying to go forward and yet having to glance over his shoulder at more militant factions who say don't go too far. Rick Davis, NBC News, Algiers. Ah, another typical day in California. And typically, millions of us will take a few minutes to play Scratchers from the lottery. They're fast, they're fun, and who knows, you could be an instant winner. Maybe go all the way to the big spin, where the prizes are anything but typical. Scratchers, another reason life's more fun in California. When it comes to doing business with foreign lands, you gotta know how to balance your trade. You gotta know the time. You gotta know your zones. You gotta know how to speak the language. You gotta bring things in from far away. You gotta know their destinations. Your customers are waiting at the end of the line. Now is no time for complications. This reminder from Federal Express that it's not just a package. It's your business. Shirts. We've loosened our collar. Like haute couture, fragrance must be a work of art. Nina, the charming new perfume from Nina Ritchie Paris, exclusively at Nordstrom. We're called Trans World Airlines, but don't take the world part too literally, because even though we do fly most of the world, this is the part of the world we fly the most. Today's TWA. Skiers love it until they get stuck coming home in it. Snow in the Sierra caused a flurry of minor accidents on I-80 today. It was enough to bring traffic sliding to a halt. But in the midst of this mess, new life. A CHP officer delivered a healthy six-and-a-half-pound baby girl in a stalled car west of Nyack. A Bay Area pilot Lucky to be alive tonight, he crash-landed in the Pacific Ocean. Mark Eaton spent eight hours on a lifeboat before being plucked from the sea by the Coast Guard. News Center 4's Una Kwan reports. Eaton's plane went down here, in choppy waters northeast of Maui. Eaton, shown here with his wife, spent the next eight hours aboard a lifeboat, cold, wet, and worried that Coast Guard rescuers wouldn't find him. Eaton talked to us by phone today. After I went down, I was standing on top of the airplane looking for him. And uh, then it got dark and four hours passed. I figured uh, 
maybe I wasn't where I was supposed to be. Maybe I had gotten off course somehow, and, uh, and it's a big ocean out there. Finally, the Coast Guard spotted his flares and sent a tanker to pull him from the water. It was cold, real cold, and, uh, and I'm doing okay now. I'm just a little dizzy. I think maybe uh, uh, just need some rest. It was an anxious night for Eaton's family in Alameda. His wife got first word of trouble from the Coast Guard last night. Okay. They called me at 11.30 and they said the ship will be picking him up at 4 o'clock in the morning. So there was nothing more we could do. We knew that somebody was circling him. They had him in sight. I had a lot of faith. I don't know why. You know, and I just kept believing that they'd find him. They would find him. And they did. And once they did, they didn't, you know, they kept an eye on him. Eaton arrived in Honolulu tonight, tired but no worse the wear for his ordeal. Meanwhile, his family is preparing a hero's welcome for his return to the Bay Area tomorrow. Yuna Kwan, New Center 4. The controversy continues. Whether seven astronauts could have been rescued from the explosion of the space shuttle Challenger. Today's Miami Herald quotes unnamed NASA investigators as saying the astronaut survived the blast and died when the crew compartment hit water. A former coroner said today his office was blocked from performing autopsies and never found official death certificates. I have been shown uh, some certificates uh, which were not death certificates, but were in fact just sheets of paper with certificate of death typed on it uh, with a little narrative paragraph saying, uh, I hereby certify that so-and-so, in each case naming the astronaut, uh, died during an explosion uh, on so-and-so date. Uh, NASA, by the way, is sticking to its original story. The shuttle astronauts were practicing today how to escape the launch tower if something goes wrong. Crew members watched engineers test the so-called slide wire basket. In an emergency, the astronauts would climb in for a quick trip back to the ground along a 1,200-foot cable. There could be any number of situations in which the astronauts would need to clear the tower very quickly. And a prime essence is the fact that they get a chance to rehearse today as they did where the exits are, how to go down the tower, and how to get into the side wire baskets, how to use them. After the test, the astronauts climbed into the basket, making sure the escape door works. Shuttle Atlanta is scheduled to leave on a secret mission later this month. The countdown continues tonight for a second attempt to launch the Soviet space shuttle Buran. Its unmanned maiden voyage is scheduled for Tuesday. The Soviets tried to launch the spacecraft two weeks ago, but the countdown was aborted just seconds before liftoff when a launch pad gantry failed to pull back far enough. James is coming home from college. Uncle Al is in from Austin. Jean's bringing the twins for the first time. At Lucky, we know being together makes the holidays special. That's why we devote so much of our time to saving more of yours with service to speed your way home and entertainment ideas at low, lucky prices. This holiday, everyone's coming to see you. Shouldn't you see us first? The vice president of Cadbury Schweppes is sleeping on the job. The publisher of Cosmopolitan can barely keep his eyes open. In fact, some of the world's most successful business people are off in Never Never Land. And that's exactly where we want them. Because when it comes to business, Pan Am believes the more relaxed and rested you are up here, the better you'll do down there. Pan Am, the number one airline to Europe. And more. What are you pouring for us here, David? Is this something special? Well, I found a new wine I think you might like. What is this? This has a beautiful color. This is really good. Is it hard to find? I think I can get you a bottle. Yeah. Let me see what this is, David. Come on. White Grenache. Gallo. It's Gallo. How about that? Ernest and Julio Gallo introduce a remarkable new wine, White Grenache. It will change the way you think about Gallo. Cutting back is fine, but this is a business that's always been run in relationships. Come on, Phil. Your people were calling Hong Kong way too much. I had to do something. Hey, these are tough times. Tougher now, I'm afraid. What's this? From our main guy over there saying they just signed with someone else? When we weren't calling, someone else was.
New Center for Sports, brought to you by Arrow Shirts. We've loosened our collar. And for that sports, here's Pete. All right, a lot going on. In capsule form, we focus on the day's top stories, all of which will be treated in more detail on Sports Final coming up shortly with Gary. We begin with the Raiders' near shutout of the 49ers with 1.56 left in the game. A reverse to Jerry Rice backfires, and the 49ers' chances of avoiding a 9-3 loss to the Raiders dies in the arms of Scott Davis. Meantime, the New Orleans Saints moved into sole possession of the NFC West lead by beating the Rams. Reuben Mays scoring a hit with the Rams' band. At the Nabisco Championship at Pebble, Tom Kite birdied 18 to tie Curtis Strange and force sudden death tomorrow. And for the 43rd time in the 80 meetings, Martina Navratilova got the better of Chris Everett winning the Virginia Slims of Chicago in straight sets. And we are getting uh, a report and we're uh, checking into it that Daryl Rogers is out of coach of the Detroit Lions, not confirmed yet. And on Sports Final coming, a couple of big name guests. Big. Majet Whiteside and Andy Papathanasio. Those are big names. Cal and Stanford players will talk big game. Okay. Thanks, Pete. Thanks, Pete. Baby Whitney still in critical condition tonight. The 18-day-old baby who received a new heart yesterday in Southern California. But doctors are optimistic he'll recover. Whitney Ray Peterson, the 23rd baby to undergo a heart transplant at Loma Linda Medical Center. He was born with a heart deformity and would have died without a transplant. Pat is here. Is it calming down out she there? Uh, yes, excuse me for reading this. this. This is great. This is a national story on the Associated Press. Radio stations, television stations across the country are reading this as a quote by our very own Mike Peckner, one of the meteorologists. And our weather department on Channel 4 says, quote, it's the world's biggest, longest parking lot, unquote. It took him three hours to travel 15 miles on on uh, a highway up and through the Sierra during the day today. So. I-80. I-80. That, we talked about that earlier in the newscast. In fact, we have some more snow to show you in the Reno area, not only causing some problems for motorists up there, but uh, good news for skiers, as we've mentioned. Several inches up and through the Sierra. Donner Summit, for example, 8 to 12 inches already. Uh, above 7,000 feet, they'll get another foot or two of snow tonight down around lake level. Another 6 to 8 inches of snow during the night tonight as there is a winter storm warning in effect there. It takes Mike that long normally to drive, by the way, but, but at least you had an excuse tonight with the slippery roadways. A uh, number of accidents are saying, Highway Patrol saying as many as 200 accidents in the Sierra because of this. Southern California, when the heavy rain hit down there, they had a 10-car pileup on the Hollywood Freeway. And around here, of course, when we had the heavier rain showers earlier today, that did cause some traffic problems around the Bay Area. And there could be some more for rush hour traffic tomorrow morning because it looks like we could see a few lingering showers tomorrow morning. Let's see what it's like outside right now. Currently in San Francisco, it's 52. Relative humidity, 83%. Winds are out of the southwest, and the barometer is rising. After daytime high temperatures, we're rising to below normal levels. We had a 58-degree high in Oakland, warming up to about 64 degrees in San Jose and Redwood City. Fremont did hit 66, but temperatures generally cooler than normal with all the rain showers around, even cooler than that during the day tomorrow, despite the fact that we'll see some sunshine later on during the day. This is the latest radar picture. It's picking up a lot of precipitation. Most of it in Central California, moving into the Sierra, where it's snowing heavily right now. Some light shower activity expected around the Bay Area during the night tonight. A slight chance of a thunder shower, but just a slight chance at that. Generally, the cold front has moved by the area. Past 24 hours, you can see clouds brushing by the area associated with that cold front. Now there's just a storm system to the north of us. That low-pressure storm system to the north of us will continue to spin winds back down around, and that cold air pushing in our direction brings the unstable clouds in. That gives us the chance of showers tonight as well well as the lingering chance of showers earlier tomorrow. Around the country, a couple of warm temperature records down south. Midland, Texas at 84. San Angelo, Texas, 85. All-time record highs, but relatively cool in the northern part of the country and windy up around the Great Lakes where they saw a few snow showers during the night tonight. More snow showers, of course, in the west as that cold front passed our area during the day today. Gave us the rain that we had around as it passed late morning, early afternoon, but still lingering showers in the forecast, as I mentioned, into the night tonight. So our forecast calls for scattered showers, the possibility of a thunderstorm, overnight low temperatures mostly in the 40s. Then for tomorrow, chance of showers in the morning. We'll call it partly cloudy. It's going to be breezy and it'll feel very cool. Most areas with highs just in the 50s. As uh, we mentioned for the Sierra, a winter storm warning in effect with showers and thunder showers there tonight. Snow level down to 3,500 feet. And our marine forecast, a small craft advisory with swells out of the northwest at 12 feet. And in our five-day forecast, we'll mention that chance of rain tomorrow morning. About Wednesday, another storm system could brush by, by and uh, bring us more rain, as well as more snow for the Sierra. By the way, tomorrow night, Tuesday morning, could be the coldest night of the season so far. It's the first frost of the season for really? many of the cooler areas. Chilly night ahead tomorrow night. Okay. Thanks, Pat. Thank you, Pat. You're welcome.
Get Me to the Church on Time takes on a whole new meaning for the bridegroom we'll meet next. Shirts. We've loosened our collar. Today's high compression engines not only rev high, they can run hotter than regular small car engines. Their searing heat can begin to break down an oil immediately. That's why there's Castrol. The motor oil that in every grade provides maximum protection against viscosity and thermal breakdown. So use Castrol before your engine does something to get you heated up. Castrol, engineered for today's smaller cars. Castrol GTX, available at all Long's Drugs. I didn't want to ruin my Navy career. So I just kept my mouth shut like I was told. 25 years after the assassination of John F. Kennedy, the eyewitnesses are finally out. speaking out. So how could that be the president's body when the president's body was already in the morgue half an hour? What they tell reporter Sylvia Chase will shock you. Watch JFK, an unsolved murder. Starting Wednesday on New Center 4 at 6, only on Channel 4. Just a few hours of your time can mean so much. Call your local volunteer center at 800-CARE-123. That's what a friend is for. A Florida man demonstrated today just how strong the course of true love flows. Now, only two days ago, a tiger at Tampa's Bush Gardens mauled zoo attendant David Roller, who was trying to clean the animal's cage. Roller fought the tiger off and had surgery to repair huge chunks of flesh ripped from his chest and leg. Well, today he got married on schedule, but relocated to the hospital chapel. To his wife, he's a knight in shining gauze. He's the best man there ever could be. I don't know anybody who could go through as much as he's been through and still want to go through with the wedding. May not kiss fries. <laughs> uh, with injuries like that, we hope the guests threw cooked rice. In Chicago today, eight couples got married at the same time, same place, but it was not a romantic whim. The eight women all live in Chicago's Rockwell Gardens housing project. They were told they had to tie the knot or lose their homes. No more live-in boyfriends. So they got married. The housing project treated them to roses and a reception. Still kind of sweet. <laughs> That's it for us, Sports Final, coming up next. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next weekend. Good night. When you really need it by tomorrow, Express Tailoring at c and I got Max when he was six months old, which was 10 years ago, and I've had him that whole time. When I was first diagnosed with AIDS, my real concern was how my dog would be taken care of at times when I was sick. I've got some spare time. I love animals. It's not only for the client, uh, it's for me too. Time Jeopardy, weekdays at 4.30. Sports Final is brought to you by your Northern California Mazda dealers and by Chevron, makers of Chevron Supreme with Tech Relief. 
And by Arrow Shirts. We've loosened our collar. And by Mitsubishi Television. This program would look better. Arrow Shirts. We've loosened our collar. And now, on with the opera. From the people who brought you big screen television comes the sound to go with it. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a... Introducing Mitsubishi Home Theater Systems. Now playing at a dealer near you. One of the biggest drawbacks in today's performance is the sluggishness caused by dirty intake systems. So we developed Chevron Supreme, the high-octane gasoline with Tecrolene. No additive cleans entire intake systems better. Now you'll be free to move ahead without any drawbacks. Chevron, we fuel your freedom. Come drive an 89 Mazda V2200. So rugged, so reliable, they've been ranked number one in customer satisfaction three straight years. Come drive one now, and special factory to dealer cash incentives can save you hundreds off the already low sticker price. The new Mazda V2200 pickups. Pick yours out today. Get a great deal at your Northern California Mazda dealers today. I was a school wuss. I played uh, golf. Basketball, Ooh. basketball. I didn't know how to play basketball, so I yeah. became a scorer. <laughs> I remember their actual first girlfriend. Her name was Louise. Went to a makeout party. <laughs> and? I would have done better, but I was bald then, too. <laughs> Levi's 100% cotton dockers. If you're not wearing dockers, you're just wearing pants. My first kiss, I remember. Was there a girl involved? There was a girl involved. In everyone's life, there's a summer of 42. You're about to witness an incredible shaving demonstration. Not of hairs, of years. With Option Gradual Gray Coverage. Option, the foam that gets rid of gray hair. Gradually, shave a few years off. Not bad or a lot of years. With Option, you're in control. And you'll look absolutely natural. Terrific. Option, gradual gray coverage. The foam that shaves away the years. Your love has lifted me higher than I've ever been lifted before. So keep it up. So keep it up. Quench my desire. Quench my Arrow shirts. We've loosened our collar. And now, on with the opera. From the people who brought you big screen television comes the sound to go with it. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a... Introducing Mitsubishi Home Theater Systems. Now playing at a dealer near you. Rosebud. Knocking. And pinging. It can bring out the animal in anyone. So we developed high-octane Chevron Supreme and added the cleansing power of Tecfrily. Now you'll be free to go without a moment's hesitation. Chevron, we fuel your freedom. There is one car that delivers quality and dependability at a low price. The 89 Mazda 323 Hatchback. It's fun to drive, too, with a fuel-injected 1.6-liter engine that packs plenty of power. And you won't believe the room and comfort it gives you for a sticker price of only $62.99. See your Mazda dealer now. 
Get a great deal at your Northern California Mazda dealers today. The men's warehouse exposes the high price of camel hair sport coats. People are concerned about the high price of men's clothing. At Neiman's and Sachs, these camel hair sport coats sell for $275. Our top quality camel hair sport coats are still only $185. That's the same price as last year. I guarantee it. I'm George Zimmer, president of the Men's Warehouse. 27 stores including Colma, San Jose, San Ramon, Newark, Pleasant Hill, Milpitas, and Albert and Fairfield. I get paid to fly on TWA. I'm part of the new quality control team. I report directly to the chairman on what's good and what needs improving. When he's happy, you're happy. Today's TWA. Find out how good we really are. After all those meetings in Minneapolis and conventions in Kansas City, we think you could use a little change of pace. And after 40,000 miles in TWA's frequent flyer program, that's just what you get. Today's TWA. Find out how good we really are. Live 105 FM on the cutting edge. On the cutting edge. Live 105, the station that dares to be different. Jonestown, the survivors. Monday on News Center 4 at 11.